From 2021 through 2030, we can expect a dramatic escalation in the agenda. This escalation will likely come in waves where everything seems as if it's okay for a while, then there's a new problem. That new problem could be something such as a cyber attack that temporarily takes down the power grid in most parts of the internet, leading to another shortage in the food supply. Then, after some time, that will calm down, but the solution to the problem will be to increase restrictions online to verify everyone's identification. Ultimately, this is to further silence the citizens from speaking out. Then, after a series of events, we should expect another major wave of COVID variants, along with waves of lockdowns. As that subsides, it would again bring additional restrictions. Without any influence by us, it's plausible in the next few years to expect these events, along with a likely economic collapse possibly culminating in a major war by the end of the decade. This wave pattern brings us, the subjects, right to a breaking point before relieving the pressure. It allows a gap to forget the previous hard time and accept it as normal, which reduces the threat of building a resistance. With every new problem comes more restrictions. This pattern provides an opportunity for the most effective way to demoralize a subject, making them exploitable to give up their rights for a sense of security, while channeling them to a modified, more controlled way of living. This pandemic has provided an opportunity for a reset. Building back better means getting support to the most vulnerable while maintaining our momentum on reaching the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and the SDGs. The third foundation is to build back better. To think that life can go on as it was before the plague. And it will not. This government will build back better. We can build back better. And I'm looking forward to getting started as soon as we can.